Hey guys, Bobby Dutroop here. You know that I usually don't put my blogs on this particular site. It's usually for pictures, but I do believe that this is a situation that I need everyone to hear. Uh, for any true YouTuber, I'm sure you've gotten this Jesus letter where it says, send this out to 10 people and God will bless your house. And uh, if you don't, God might be testing you and, and all this stuff. Well, I have to tell you guys, I'm sorry. That's not the way it works. That's not from God. And I know how, give it a minute, I know how bad that might sound. But God doesn't bless your house because you particularly did something. God bless your house because He is an awesome and merciful God. And every time I read one of those, the Spirit, and as a Christian, you should also know, the Spirit inside tells you that there's something wrong with this. It feels like a threat. It feels like a chain letter. And chain letters are not from God. Now, am I against spreading the word? No, as Christians, we should. And if you want to send a video that blessed you, and say, hey guys, look at this. This is a beautiful video about salvation, about God's love, about repentance, even about hell. Definitely, that's, that's biblical. But it's not biblical sending something and said, you have to send this to someone. You have to do something. You have That is religion. That is superstitious at its best. That now, instead of me sending this because I love God and I want someone to see it, I'm thinking twice. If I don't send this, maybe God's not going to bless me. Sorry, guys. God doesn't bless you because we're such great people. He blesses because He's a great and awesome God. So, if you ever send one of these videos and you didn't know, God understands. But now we all stand accountable. I'm not sitting here as a pastor, an elder, a deacon, or even teacher of the word. But ask your pastor. Read the Bible. See if there's anywhere doc. Prove me wrong. If I'm wrong, I mean, I will definitely be rebuked uh, on any situation when it comes as far as the Bible goes. But I don't think I am wrong in this. Leave some comments. Again, I don't think that this letter threatening people to do something so God can bless you. I don't think that's right. Uh, as far as it goes. God bless you guys. I want to make sure people do understand I'm not saying you can live any way you want and God will bless you no matter what. That's not my point. I'm talking to born again Christians here. I'm talking to people who came to Christ with open heart and open mind and said, Devla, I am a sinner and I need your help. And that's when the Lord blesses you because He's an awesome God. Uh, as far as these letters go, I just feel a spirit of fear that if you don't send these out, God won't bless you. And God does not give us a spirit of fear. Uh, I mean, God wants our obedience. Yes, 100%. But as far as these letters go, it just feels very religious. It just feels... Um, I mean, I've received chain letters before. It was us out to 10 people before I was even Christian. And I really didn't believe them. But again, I'm not saying you can do anything you want. We do need a, a repentant life. We do need to come to church. We do need to do th stuff that Christians do do. And uh, that's when the Lord blesses you. Not because someone told you, if you don't do this, uh, send out this letter or send out this work or whatever it might be that God might lift his hand off of your family. I don't believe that's God. Uh, I, again, I'm always open to rebuke. Leave some comments. God bless you guys.